in this video we are going to learn about group by function let me show you what is the use of group by function i have sales data of different product reason why my task is to calculate the sum of sales of product i simply use the pivot table for this first i need to convert this into the official table for this i will go to the insert table and okay we can change the format if we want now i will select any particular cell go to insert tab again selecting the pivot table i want to make the pivot table in this sheet so i will select this one any particular cell then okay and again okay i will drag the sales amount and the product i got the sum of the sales but the problem here is whenever i add new data or update any values here let's see if i if i press enter the pivot table not get updated automatically for this i need to right click and click on refresh or selecting the table come to the pivot table analysis and click on the refresh to get the updated data in the pivot table this is the main disadvantage of the pivot table but if we use group by function which is the alternative of the pivot table the data will be updated automatically i will select group by function maybe in your excel it is not updated you can use the google sheet or you can get the free updated latest microsoft office link has been given in the description you can watch that video and you can get it absolutely free of cost in which this group by function is available so i am selecting that function press tab i will select the row then comma values and the function is sum closing the bracket press enter now if i update any data press enter it get updated automatically it has eight argument some are optional some are mandatory so i am going to explain some advanced use of group by function or what is the use of different arguments in the group by function so stay tuned subscribe the video like it and do comment now if someone want the percentage of product wise sales data of grand total in the pivot table we will select any cell we again drag the sales amount right click show values as percentage of grand total we got the data but here i need to select one more function the function before that i need to select h stack function starting my bracket the first array would be sum and the second array would be the percentage of i will close that particular bracket and closing my function and i will press enter to get the percentage i will select that data selecting the percentage from the home tab and here i got the headers automatically and i am getting sum and percentage separately in other rows here now if i update any data that would get update automatically but in the pivot table i need to refresh the data to get the updated data now i will explain the argument used in the group by function before that i will update the name of this table to sales data i will select any cell equal group by and here we have eight arguments first four arguments are mandatory means i need to define the row data then the values and which field we need to and the function we want to use this time i am going to select reason comma values would be the sales amount comma function would be average comma and this time we got field header option if i select zero means we don't want any headers in the first one yes available but don't show second no but generate we can generate the manual headers and third one is yes and show so i'm going to select three then we have next argument total depth if i select zero then we don't want any total one for grand totals second for grand and subtotals minus one for grand totals at the top and grand total and the subtotal at the top if we select minus two in this case i don't want any total so i will select zero the next one is short order we can use the short order ascending and descending for this we will use positive or the negative sign for positive there is no need to put any sign for negative we have to select 
minus sign and then we have to select the column let me give you an example i'm going to close this one closing the bracket and press enter so we have these values i will change the format of the number and i will make them bold as well now i will select this and i have two columns now if i want to sort the data by ascending order using the reason the reason is my first column so after the zero enter the comma and enter the one which is a positive one means ascending order by reason it is already in the ascending if i put negative sign in front of minus that would be descending order and if i change this to two means second column which is the sales amount in descending order so these are the arguments we can use so in this video we have learned about the simple use of the group by function which is the replacement of the pivot table so in the coming videos i will create advanced uses of the group by function so stay tuned subscribe the channel like the video and do comment thanks for watching please come back again